Hey, good morning, folks. Uh, it's January the 6th in the Florida Keys. Uh, and as you can see, we've got some Keys bees right there. Uh, my wife got me this fancy new tripod with a remote that starts and stops the video. And uh, this is what it is. I'm just putting this up there in case anybody knows how this damn thing works. I can turn the video on, but as soon as I let my thumb off of it, it shuts it off got to be a way around that so anyway i captured the bees that are in this box in this gumbo limbo that's right above it and i've done this a couple of times now but uh the bees keep leaving but i've taken the bees other places so this time i said you know what i'm going to set the box up below where i know the bees like to go because they come to this tree every year and uh do whatever bees do when they're swarming and move into a tree temporarily. So this is just a little thing to show you. This is uh, my fishing line setup that I, I use to capture bees in a nuke box. And I had, they had left. And so I saved the comb, but I didn't put it in a freezer or anything. And there was just beautiful comb, but you can see how it's gotten all eaten up by critters. And just want to let you know, um, don't leave your comb out like I did. Just a boneheaded mistake. And then what we're gonna to attempt to do today is is the, the bees that I caught, I most of them were caught on a uh, top bar. Uh, top bar, just in case you don't know, is essentially just this bar with a strip right there. Uh, where we go, right there. And, and then they, they can build their comb on it, but there's none of this frame. So long story short, um, I had made the top bars and they weren't to the exact dimensions of this. And you like to keep uh, 10 frames in your main box, your brood box. Uh, and I've only got nine in there. So I'm gonna try to fix that today. And then I got this idea from uh, keeping beekeeping with Rich. He's another South Florida beekeeper, uh, wealth of knowledge. I, I recommend you check out his channel. Um, and so what he does is he takes uh, this, it's not chicken wire, but it's essentially chicken wire and you cut it and you make little, little stick outs and then you can hang the comb onto this. So that's what we're going to try to do today, folks. This video is getting way lengthier than what I would typically do. I, I hope you can uh, deal with it. Here goes nothing. All right, we got our smoker going. I can't stand gloves, so first thing we do is we put our vinegar on. Because my uh, my guru said that'll keep the bees away. So far, so good. I haven't gotten stung in about a year. I really don't like getting stung. So, I'm going to lift this up. As you can see, we've got our... Uh, our old political sign under here. Let's see what we got going on. The girls are looking good. All right. Um, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You know, I take it back. Somehow I did make 10 fit in there. Let me see if you can see this. So we're going to pull the frame out just for shits and giggles. But you can see this is a, um, a top frame that I made. Here and here we've got uh, traditional frames. I think this one has foundation. And... Um, we got nothing there. But you can see, here's another plastic foundation frame. And I don't like those damn, spam bugs. Look at that, man. Whenever I get live on video, I forget what they're called, but you know what they are. And um, I'm gonna apply a little trick that my guru taught me. Uh, we're first, so you kill them with this thing. What we're going to do here, 
And by the way, this is the first time I've used this, this crazy camera thing. So I don't know how this is gonna work. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slam this onto this piece of plywood and knock those bugs out. And then I'm gonna grab this and kill them as fast as I can. It worked. One, two, three, four, five. I know you couldn't see me. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Jesus. Ah, well, the little twelve got away. Okay, no more came out. But, um, but so I just took 12, took, killed 12 of those damn things. That's not a, I hate seeing those in the hive. And so this is an example of where the, where the girls can use a little bit of help. Um, let's go into the next one and see what happens here. There's another one. Damn. So you can see how they're just starting to build a little chrome there. There's a nasty freaking bug. What is that? Man. Mm. He got away. Uh, whatever. There he is. It almost looked like an ant, but I don't think it was an ant. I'd love to see the queen, but I, I don't ever go crazy looking for the queen. Okay, now here's going to be an example of the top bar. Look at that. So now when you're handling a top bar, you need to rotate it like so, or it will fold in half on you and break. And there's another one of those damn bugs. Beetle, that's what they are, black beetles. Why I couldn't think of the name beetle, I don't know. But look, man, we got some honey right there, folks. Look at that. I'm not going to take it from them, but it's nice to know we got honey. And so I actually watched uh, Joe Rogan YouTube the other day, and uh, there was a gal on there talking about bees. And if, if you haven't watched it, I, I'd say, you know, if you got three hours to kill in your car one day, you should watch it, man. She was very informative. I learned a lot. I think I'm going to take, I think I'm going to take this right here. It's got plenty of honey in it. It'll be fun. I, I would just want to know what my Keys Bees honey is going to taste like. I haven't taken any yet. Um... get my brush nice tool to have this is the most important one though all right now I haven't I haven't been looking really hard but I haven't seen the queen it'd be fun to see her but I know she's in here. Um, although saying that, you know, I haven't seen brood. Well, actually, we got some brood there. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I see some. Uh, see the little bee in there. Okay, this is a good sign. I mean, the. The hive certainly isn't huge, but it is healthy. Um, I was thinking, um, I wasn't really sure what I was thinking, to be honest with you, but we're going to brush these bees off. They're not crazy about that. If you can see, our honey right there. there go. Thank you, girls. Don't bite me. No biting. Okay, guys, 
And this is also to show you, like, I know these bees are pretty calm. Ah, one just got me, fucker. Excuse me, pardon my French. Yeah. That's the stinger. I don't know if you can see that or not, but. And there's another one. Oh, man, there is an adrenaline flow, I'll tell you that. So anyway, I'm going to pack this thing back up. I just wanted to make sure they were doing good. They're doing good. It's my first bee sting of 2023. It wasn't too bad. And I guess that's what I get for stealing honey. I'm going to set that back up there. I did kill some black beetles for them, so... I figure it's a pretty even trade-off. Guys, I'm going to, uh... Actually, what I'm going to do... Hell yeah, look at that, man. Look at that. Oh, we got one bee. She's sort of pissed off that I took it. But I'm going to take this veil off here. It's really hard to try honey when you got these veils on. I'll tell you that. Come on. Here we go. Well, man, it's impossible. Let me just do it that way. Put it on the tip of my finger. Give it a taste. Wow. Listen, guys. I, I don't like taking the honey from the bees because I know they work hard for it. And uh, in other parts of the country, I'm really sure it'd be frowned on to do it right now. But we're in the Keys. It's like 72 degrees today. Like there's a cold front that just hit, to give you an idea. These guys can survive, no problem. But I'm hoping in a couple of months, they will be, um, right in springtime, we'll say, that box will be full and I can actually add a super. Right now, not even close to doing that. But I got some money out of the deal. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you, whether you liked it or not, man, give me a give me a like and subscribe. I, I like when I get likes and subscriptions. And uh, maybe my next video will be about mangoes because I know a lot of you like mangoes more than I do. And you know, I just realized this is stupid on my part. I got my smoker going and I never smoked the bees. No wonder I got stung. Over and out.